So as though buddy is what we do fantastically well. We're going to see few important things in India attacks and I'm sure it's going to be very useful for you on exam day morning. Let's quickly check them out. One of the key numericals you should keep in mind in customs or safeguard duty is the total timeline is four years after extension maximum ten years. So these are the questions you most likely get in MCQs. So do watch out. Next one is provisional safeguard maximum where it is 200 days. Counter warning duty is five years and extension of up to five years. Then anti dumping duty computation is its low end of margin of duty or injury margin. Margin of duty is nothing but export price minus normal value. And injury margin is computed as fast selling price minus landed value of dumped imports. Then next thing you should keep in mind is very very important topic is warehouse goods. So the warehouse goods period is in for capital goods till they're expanding and for goods other than capital goods it's still expanding up consumption. So next for others warehousing period is still expiry of one year. So cancellation of license goods shall be removed within seven days from order of cancellation. Very very important keep these things in mind. Interest on warehouse goods, interest on duty deferred on warehouse goods beyond 90 days. So once it stays beyond 90 days, interest rate of 15% will be imposed. Now next we'll be seeing the refund provisions. So second 27 application for refund should be made within one year from the date of payment. And the minimum amount of refund is rupees and red. So next one is FTP. Very very important once again. One star warehouse export performance should be all three million. Two star will be fifty million. Three star will be fifty million. Four star two hundred million. Five star eight hundred million. So next one is I'll be sharing some more important insights and videos and concepts tomorrow as well. But this I thought I must share it. So start with question five or six. But write as it is in the material because then only you get at least 10 out of 14 then proceed to question 1 so by you now it will be 3 15 pm 3 15 3 40 we close the mcqs 4 to 4 30 close the paper you'll be you're left with few points here and there so that will take 4 30 to 4 50 remaining 10 minutes you'll be having for going through whatever you missed out. if you follow this technique you will always settle for 100 marks keep these things in mind best to just stay focused and have a fantastic time again and keep going